The Wildflower Triathlon Experience is back after it was canceled last year due to drought. Now athletes have gathered at San Antonio Lake, which does have water in it this year for the 35th anniversary of the event. KSBY News reporter Megan Abundis has a preview of the big day tomorrow with the big name athletes. The weather is warm. San Antonio Lake has a great amount of water in it and people from across the world are here in Bradley ready for some competition. Starting at 8 a.m. tomorrow, 5,000 racers will be here to cross the start line. Race directors say this year it's bigger and better and more family friendly. <laughs> it's crazy. I, we came down on Wednesday and drove down in and literally just the blue water was there and we were like, oh my goodness, it's back. <laughs> the last couple years we had this was completely bare like you literally you couldn't you could not see water from this angle which was shocking lake san antonio is back in action this year thanks to the winter rains more than 15,000 people will drive to bradley to get in on the 70.2 mile run swim and bike triathlon people coming from all different countries that are coming in to experience something that's literally right here in your backyard you guys have legitimately world-class event like in your backyard. Athlete attendance this year has doubled compared to past years. In the mix is six-time wildflower champion Jesse Thomas. There's nasty grade, which is uh, on the bike ride, super brutal climb. And then this run is, is probably the hardest run in all of, of this distance triathlon. Staring death in the face and, and being able to uh, to survive it and three time women's champ Heather Jackson. Yeah, this horse, this course is relentless. I mean, it's literally up or down on the bike and run all day long. There's no flat sections out there. New this year to the festival, a wildflower wellness area for the whole family, including hydration IVs, bubbly bar, massages and festival braids. So there's everything from yoga to clinics to expo to 5K to 10K to trail runs. Um, and so there's really something for everybody. In Bradley, I'm Megan Abundis, KSBY News. Live entertainment, camping, local craft beers, and water sports like paddleboarding are all available through the event. More information is available on our website, ksby.com.